Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover the forum system that BSN Tech Networks uses for websites. The system is called the Kunena Forum. It's K-U-N-E-N-A Forum. I have already logged in to a website that I had built for a customer and uh, as you can see it says welcome and then I'm logged in. So in this tutorial I'm just going to go through a few different things that uh, that can be done and, uh, and for this it's also going to cover what your registered users would see not necessarily the moderators or the administrators. The first thing that some people would want to do is to set what's called an avatar or a signature in their account. So after they log in, they can click on their username. So right here, I can click on my username and it says view my profile. Looks like I will need to log in again. It's been a little bit here before I have logged into the site. And after this comes up, it shows my profile. So how do I edit it? Well, right here it says edit. So I can click on the word edit and then this allows me to actually update my own profile so you have your username which cannot be changed you can change your name your email address uh, you're able to change your password in here if needed next you have the profile information tab uh, you can put in your birth date uh, where you are gender uh, if you have a website or a website URL and then several other different things Twitter Facebook MySpace kind of the list goes on but if you scroll down here near the bottom there is the option here for a signature and this is where somebody can put in a signature that they would use for every post that they would have so at the bottom of every post their signature would appear so you can put that in there and if you're all done you can hit the save button up here at the top you have the option to do avatar image this is where you could potentially choose an image for your avatar as you can see my avatar is just our logo there are some default avatars built in as you can see here uh, so there are several different ones that you can choose from but if you wanted to choose your own avatar click the browse button that shows up right here and that will open a window on your computer which would actually allow you to choose a picture and then you can choose a picture and then you'd hit open and then all the way down here at the bottom again come down and hit save and then that would upload your avatar and save it now most avatars can only be a certain file size so make sure that the file that you're uploading is not very large as you can see an avatar does not need to be a huge picture it's a, just a small picture like this so you may have to put the picture in a picture editing program to make sure it's a f smaller size before you can upload it otherwise it may not get uploaded because of the file size finally you have forum settings so a preferred message ordering hide your email show online so if you don't want people to know when you're online you can change that to no uh, you can hide your email address yes or no there and again once you're all done you just hit save and then that would make your changes completed all right so that takes care of how you can edit your own profile now if we need to actually go into the forum then we can go here into the forum and this is where the main thing is so for instance the, the first thing we'll cover here is how to actually make a post you have to choose a category that's been already preset by the website owner and you want to make sure you put your post in the proper category you don't want to put a post that has nothing to do with shotgun gunsmithing as an example in this category so it's make sure make sure you stay on topic as they call it so I'm just gonna go into the shotgun general and how do you create a new topic you just hit new topic right here and then that gives you the ability to type in a subject you can choose an icon for your topic if you'd like and then you have the editor where you can choose bold italics you have all those you have your smiley faces so I'm just gonna do a test message and uh, I guess I'll just use a little check mark over here notice this little radio is to the left of the image and then you can start typing in your message so this is a test message for the forum okay so I actually want to make the word test message here bold so I need to highlight them 
and then I can click the bold button. And what this does is it puts this code before and after the text. So that's telling the forum system what you're wanting to do. And so in that case, it's bolding. That's what the B slash B stands for. That means start bold. That means end bold. What about putting an image in here? There's a couple ways that can be done. Number one, if the image is out on the internet somewhere, you would use the image button up here in the toolbar to do so. And it says right here, image link. So if I click on that, I can put in the image link. So for instance, bsintech.com slash images slash test. Actually, let me make this a true one logo.png and then I hit insert and you can see that it puts this IMG tag in here but what happens if the image that you want to upload or have in your post is not on the internet or you want to make sure you just put it right on the website well to do that you use something called attachments so down here you have an attachments button and it says add file attachments can be word files PDF files images it can really be whatever you want it to be that you would attach to the item so I would click on add file and let me bring this over here and say I want to just upload this picture alright so you notice now that it's got the, the name in there and then it gives me the option to put another attachment as you add attachments it'll continue to add one more box so that way you can add multiple attachments alright so I actually want to put this file directly in my post so it appears in the post as an, instead of just a link under the attachments so what you do is you place your cursor wherever you want it to be and I'm gonna say below is a picture that I have inserted directly into the post hit enter a couple times and then you hit the insert button that's next to the same line you hit insert you say it says attachment puts the attachment name and attachment alright so what happens if you just want to make a link to the attachment so let's do that add file let me pull this over here so you can see it and I'm gonna use this as the attachment but I don't want it to appear directly in the post I'll just have it linked to it so I leave it as is and you can see I've got another box where I can put another post or excuse me another attachment in well alright so I'm done with those uh, some of the questions I have seen is how do you put a link in to a, like a link to another website same thing here so I'm gonna go ahead and space down one and there is a button up here it says link when I click on it it says URL and I'm gonna do www.bsintech.com and then you need to put in the actual text that you wanna make for the link so I'm going to say BS and Tech Networks website so this is the actual link this is the wording that will be made to be the link so if you don't put this in then it's not going to link correctly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit insert and you can see now it says URL. It's got the URL or the link in there. It's got the information or the text that I typed in that I want to make clickable or to the link and then it does slash URL which means it ends. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm done with this post. I don't really need anything else in here. Kind of showed you how to do the bold. You could do the italic underline. If you want to do some smiley faces, let me, I guess, go ahead and put a smiley face in there. So it says LOL. Uh, let me do another one. I'm going to do a sad face. Alright, so I want to preview this post before it actually posts to the website. So I'm going to hit preview. And there you go. See what this does. Alright, so this is the information here. Um, this is the image right here that's linked up here that I click the image button. It says below is the picture I've inserted directly into the post. Now it's not showing up yet because we do not have it uploaded. Then if you remember right, we made a link and the words was BS and Tech Network's website. You can see there, there's the link. Finally, there are the smiley faces. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and make that post and submit it and upload my attachment. So I'm going to hit submit and that will submit everything to the site alright so this is the image that I linked from another website here is the bold text right there that you can see is bold here is the uh, picture that I inserted directly into the post as you can see there here is the link to the website and then this is the attachment that I did not insert directly into the post I just attached it and it's a link as you can see down here 
Now if you made a mistake, you would have the ability to edit your post. So I can click on edit, and then that takes me back to the editor where everything is. Now you can also put a reason for editing, so if you wanted to provide a reason why you edited your post. Uh, if you wanted to delete any of the attachments, you would uncheck the boxes for the ones that you want to delete. Once you're all done, then you could hit just submit again. So I don't want this picture on this post anymore, so I'm going to uncheck it and that will remove this picture. And then I'm going to hit submit. And you can see that picture is now removed. Okay, alright, so that is how you make a post. Well, the next question would be, how can you reply to somebody's post? So I'm going to go back here to the main forum for the Shotgun General. You can see here's the checkbox that I applied that I chose for my topic. And so I just want to go in here and read it. So I can click on the item. That brings me right into the post. Okay, so I want to just reply to this person. So all you have to do is you can use quick reply or reply. Um, the, the quick reply is more just a, a quick way for you just to type something in real fast. You see that it pops right down and I'm going to say this is a quick reply and then I'm going to hit submit. You notice that the smiley faces and the other coding and stuff is not available in the quick reply mode. So you can only just type plain text and plain text only. No uh, images, no links, nothing. But if you want to actually do a full-fledged reply, you click the reply button. That will open a new page, as you can see here, and it looks like you're just making a new uh, message. But if you scroll down, you can see the original messages that you're replying to. So this is the first post, this is a reply to the post, and then you can just type in information here. So this is a reply using the full editor, not the quick reply editor and I want to say that I'm going to make this part here underlined. You can see it adds the U, the slash U. I'm going to make full editor bold and I'm going to use quick reply editor in italics. Um, but you know there's there's all kinds of different features and things here. Um, larger font oh, size. I'm going to highlight that. Click the button here for it says font size and then I'm going to choose this to make it large. There you go. So size is larger. Now I'm going to just hit submit because I'm all done. Again, if you wanted to put attachments on your reply, you can do that as well. And hit submit. All right, and there you go. So there's the underline, there's the bold, and there's the italics. And then you can see it says the larger font size there. So that's, that's how you use the Kunina Forum. And uh, this video tutorial basically covered how you can modify your own profile, uh, update your avatar, update your signature, uh, how to create a post, how to do a quick reply to a post, uh, do a regular reply, along with inserting images, attachments, and links. If you have any questions, certainly get a hold of us and we would be happy to help. Or if you're even in the market for getting a website, uh, certainly reach out to BS and Tech Networks and we would be happy to help however we can. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. I hope that you have found it uh, beneficial and educational. This again is Brian with BS and Tech Networks.